Hi, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cikgu Dila and today we will learn about animals. Let's see what animals we have here. We have camel and penguins. In this video, you will learn about specific characteristics and behavior of animals to protect themselves from extreme weather. Besides, you also will learn about how animals take care of their eggs and their young for their survival of species. And you will learn about food chain and food web. This is topic for Science Year 5, Unit 3. Before that, let's do some revisions about special behavior of animals to protect themselves from enemies. Let's see, we have this one, praying mantis, lizard, octopus, and beetle. This special behavior, such as curling up the bodies, is for pangolin and millipedes, and some animals such as chameleon and praying mantises, they can camouflage. For lizard and octopus, they can breaking off their body parts. For turtle, tortoise, and snail, they can be threatening body parts into their shell. We also have elephant, anchovies, and zebras that live in the group to protect themselves from enemies. We have squid that squirting black ink and beetle that can pretending to be dead. Animals have specific characteristics and behavior to protect themselves from extreme weather. In this slide, we learn about the animals in the cool regions. So this is the specific characteristics and behavior and the example of animals. Let's see, we have whales, polar bear, and penguins. So let's see the characteristics of behavior. Thick first, for example, like polar bears and arctic wolf, a thick layer of fat under the skin such as penguin, sea lions and whales, small ears such as ground squirrel, migrate to a warmer place, herons and whales, and hibernate for polar bear and arctic wolf. Here, the thick fur of a polar bear traps its body heat to keep warm. Besides, polar bear also hibernate to reduce movement and prevent themselves from losing energy. And then, if you can see, we have a penguin down there. Okay, the short and dense feathers of penguin make the penguins waterproof. These dense feathers also serve as a thermal insulator to maintain their body temperature. And then, oh, we have another example actually, a walrus. Ah, walrus and sea lions have small ear loops to reduce heat loss from their bodies, such as crown squirrel. This animal also have thick layer of fat. This one for walrus and sea lions, okay, they have thick layers of fat under their skin to maintain body heat in very cool weather. Now, let's move to the animals that live in the hot regions. Animals have specific characteristics and behavior to protect themselves from extreme weather in the hot region. Let's see. Characteristics and behavior. Example of animals. We have here, we have camel. And then rhinoceros and buffalo. For camels, camels have humps that store food and water. Meanwhile, we have desert fox. Desert fox have long ears. And desert lizard, they were hiding under the shade. For buffalo and rhinoceros, they were wallowing in the mud. When buffalo wallow in the water or mud, this is to cool their bodies and avoid insect bites and parasites. People also wallow themselves 
to control their body temperature in extreme hot weather, wallowing in water and mud also prevents skin disease and bites of horse flies, a type of fly that suck blood of other animals. For elephants, elephants also regularly wallow themselves in mud and water. Uh, so instead of buffalo and rhinoceros, we also have hippo and elephant that wallowing in mud or water. Next, we move to survival of animal species. Oh, we have several animals here such as bird, frog, chicken, zebras, cats and oh, we have sugar gliders. Okay, survival of animal species. Survival of animal species is the ability of a species to continue to live after a difficult or dangerous situation. The ability of an animal to maintain the existence of its species and to avoid extinction. Animal reproduce for survival of species by laying eggs or giving birth to young. So now let's see animals that lay eggs ensure their survival of species through laying a lot of eggs such as flies, mosquitoes, turtle, fish and frogs, hiding eggs such as lizard, grasshopper, cockroaches, crocodiles and turtle, eggs covered with slimy and stinky mucus such as frogs and fish, nature the eggs such as chickens, birds and penguins, taking care of their eggs such as snakes and birds. And now let's see the examples how animals that lay eggs ensure their survival of species. Here we have birds. Okay, all birds lay eggs with hard shell. The eggs are usually laid and hatched in a nest. Most nests are built in a sheltered and hidden places to ensure the safety of the eggs and the young. We have chickens. The hen incubate their eggs until they hatch and raise the chicks. Chicken live together in a flock and protect each other. Ooh, we have snakes. Snakes protect their eggs when they are disturbed. Some snakes coil around the eggs and remain with the eggs until it hatch. Now, let's see the other example of animals that lay eggs ensure their survival of species. Here we have a seahorse. Do you know that the male seahorse has a pouch? to keep the eggs that lays by the female. The male seahorse looks after the eggs until it hatch. This is catfish. The male of sea catfish keeps the eggs in its mouth until the eggs are ready to hatch. This is spider. The spider keeps their eggs in a sack under their body and bring it everywhere. Now let's see how animals that lay eggs ensure their survival of species. Huh? Okay, this one for animals that doesn't care. This one is for animals that doesn't take care of their eggs, for example like the frog. Frogs lay a large number of slimy eggs. This one is snail. Okay. Snail lay their eggs in between rocks or hidden place to hide them from enemies. Turtle. Turtle dig holes and lay large number of eggs at the pitch. The turtle bury their eggs with sand to avoid being eaten by enemies and then they are written to the sea. We have another example. Okay, for animals that lay eggs ensure their survival of species. Look here what we have. We have a lizard. 
lizard lay eggs in a dark and hidden places so that their eggs are not easily seen by other animals. We have butterfly. Butterflies lay eggs on the underside of the leaf so that the eggs are not easily seen by other animals. This is crocodile. Crocodile lay eggs and bury their eggs in the soil. Now let's move to the animals that care of their young to ensure their survival of species through suckle their young such as cats, tigers, cows, monkeys, orangutans, feeding their young such as birds and lion, carrying young in a pouch such as kangaroo, moving in a group such as elephant and swallows, Carrying young in the mouth, such as crocodiles and arowana fish. Attacking enemies that disturb their young. This one for hen or cat or maybe dog or any other animals. <laughs> okay now. Carrying young in their carrying young on their body such as scorpions. Now let's move to food chain. In the food chain, there must be a producer and consumers. So this is the example of a food chain. And then if you can see, there is an arrow. The arrow means eaten by. For example, the first one we have grass, eaten by grasshopper. The grasshopper eaten by the blue jay and the blue jay eaten by an owl. So food chain is the food relationship among living things. Usually begin with producer and then followed by consumers. So the first one is the producer and the second and third and fourth that one all are consumers. Most food chains start with the green plant. Animals that eat other animals or plants known as consumers. So this is just an example, the first one, grass, eaten by grasshopper, eaten by blue jay, eaten by oak. The second one, we have grass, eaten by rabbit, eaten by hawk. And then the leaf, eaten by caterpillar, the caterpillar eaten by a snake, this is a small snake, and then the snake eaten by the oak. Now, let's see food web. Ah. The food web is even bigger. Food web is the combination of two or more food chain. In this diagram, okay, we can see several food chain inside this food web. I think that's it for our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.